Hey y'all, welcome to module four, creating a basic call flow. Let's go ahead and get started. So the agenda, uh, we're gonna be starting a new call flow, building a basic call flow step-by-step, -step, saving and exporting the call flow. Um, you will see that there are step-by-steps laid out in this flow or laid out in this PowerPoint. That is because you guys are gonna get this these documents um, after the fact, you can probably download them as the modules go. This just gives you a very clear understanding of what the steps are. So first, obviously in creating your call flow, uh, you need to be an architect. So when you get logged in, you go to the admin panel, you'll either search for architect or go under architect, find architect, click it, up pop will, up will pop this box, obviously not this box, up will pop this, uh, this workspace. On the left-hand side, you'll click on add. It will then pop up a box for creating an inbound call flow. You'll name your call flow, give it a description, default language. That's where you're going to set your default language for that call flow. And then obviously, if you guys have a different division that your company uses for test uh, call flows, you'll put it in that and then click cre create flow. So generating or creating a new call flow from step by step, that's what we kind of went through. I have it here really for your knowledge. So that way you can look back on it and make sure that you're doing the steps right. But essentially, I have just flowed kind of through that, create new flow, call flow, inbound call flow. Um, obviously, you can add a description, like I said, click create, and then there you, it will then open into that workspace for that particular call flow. You can start adding components by dragging and dropping, right clicking on the call flow itself, uh, save and deploy. So brief overview. So the steps we're going to do here, uh, the hands-on exercise does cover these steps. It's really uh, going to be adding a play audio component adding a menu component, adding the queue call uh, components for different options, connecting those components together, and then configuring component property, properties. And then we'll have a screenshot of the basic call flow here soon. So the adding components. This is one of those things right here that you're gonna add components. Uh, you'll log into your Genesis Cloud account. You're essentially gonna get into the call flow that you did create, start adding components, the different components to it. And it's gonna be the components in the previous one. Uh, we're going to walk through this in the hands-on exercise. I only have this here. That way you guys have a step-by-step -step in front of you that you can go through. So configuring those components as well. Here's that screenshot from the previous slide that we were talking about. Uh, you're going to be configuring those components in the properties panel. So when you click on, exa excellent example here is click on Q. Uh, the Q transfer to sales component here. You will see that there is a whole bunch of uh, properties here. You have some pre-transfer or failed audio, obviously the queue, you'll be able to rename it. Um, you can have some priority on the routing. So maybe if it's coming from this particular call flow to sales, you wanna give them a little bit by priority so they get answered quicker. The preferred agents is not covered in this course. Uh, that's something that we're doing a little bit more custom. That'll be more of an extended course. Uh, the language skills, so that would be, you know, obviously English is by default, but if you need to have Spanish or whatever, you're able to do that. You can also add ACD skill. There are some failure outputs that we're not covering in this course, um, but that's that's just there. So the connecting the components, easy enough, click and drag, like we said, you can kind of see that all the arrows are matched up. You cannot move the arrows. You're really just moving these components around to make it fit for what your needs are. So the proper component connections in a call flow are essential, obviously, for ensuring that the call flow logic operates as intended, providing a seamless and efficient experience for both callers and contact center agents. That way, especially as, a, as an architect, when you get in here and it's flowing nice and you see how quick, how easy and crisp it is, uh, it makes me feel good because I know that this is very organized. I don't have to worry about much. I can see this here. I can quickly uh, troubleshoot an issue if there's something happening. And you'll see that there's some extra ones here. I have highlighted on the holiday um, call flow common module. It's a call log. Uh, I do have this particular common module export in one of these modules that you'll be able to download and import. And I show you how to do that. Uh, but you're able to then add different different data uh, to this. This also then gets added as participant data in the interaction. So when you go there, it gives you a line of the different participant data as the caller's going through this. So you can pinpoint exactly where the problems start happening. This is just the um, the document that I'm giving you that it's a step-by-step -step on paper for you. Uh, we're not going to cover that. We covered that in the previous slide. Uh, how to save architects. So easy enough, um, the, along that top ribbon, if you remember right in the, uh, I think the second module, uh, there is save, save as, you can check in the version, you can discard unsaved changes, you can revert to version two. Uh, if you've made some mistakes and you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess it up, uh, delete, import and export. 
So saving will not actually make it go, will not publish it. You're just saving your work. So in case, let's say you have an internet outage or you accidentally X out of that screen, um, it's still saved and you'll be able to come back to it. Um, you can also revert. So obviously revert unsaved changes is anything unsaved, but let's say you saved it and you can't remember if you've made a change or you haven't made a change, you can revert to the previous version. It will clear out those saved changes and you can start over again. So conclusion, mastering the basic call flow creation in architect is important for various region, reasons, obviously. Uh, it forms the foundation for design and implement, implementing uh, complex call flows, ensures effective management of, call, of contact center operations. As you continue your journey to master call flow creation architect, it's essential to practice creating various call flows to hone your skills and gain a deeper understanding at the different components and their functions. So as we start flowing through this, just in my conclusion, as we start flowing through this a little bit more, you will get a better understanding. The hands-on exercises are extremely important. There is, I think, a five-question Q&A or five-question multiple choice answer after each one of these modules to just kind of test your knowledge. It's not really for any kind of test or anything. At the very end, there is a 45 question practice test of various answers and whatnot. Um, this is really just to hone your skills to make sure that, hey, maybe I am missing something from this module. I should probably go back and take a look at it. Um, but that's all just an effort to get you guys trained. That way, when you go into uh, architect or maybe your company's newly implementing uh, Genesis Cloud, that you're able to come in with a great understanding of how those call flows are built how they're maintained, and how you're able to add uh, continuous prove it. So until next time, we'll see you on uh, module five.